Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Environment Matters. I'm Annette Hoskins. It spreads relentlessly, covering and slowly overwhelming everything in its path. No, it's not a new horror movie on Netflix. It's kudzu, an invasive plant species that's threatening to take over a popular West Virginia historic site. That is, unless it can be stopped by goats. The DEP's Mike Huff has more. They're back. <laughs> And while they're a little hard to see, wandering around this three-acre test site above the town of Thurmond, it's not hard to see where they've been. For Larry Sahanik's green goats, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet, and they've come back for seconds. The goats are part of a three-year experiment by the National Park Service at Thurmond to control the invading weeds. The steep, rocky hillsides rising from the New River Gorge make it impractical, even downright dangerous, for workers with weed eaters or sprayers to try to take on. Larry's goats are a more sure-footed choice for the job. Most places, including this, this particular location, plan on two or three years uh, because the, the, some of the vegetation is more resistant and the second year there's a whole lot less, depending on the spot, there's half as much or 25 percent as much but the invasives that they're really trying to get rid of are pretty resilient typically. The goats eat the foliage which forces the plant to use its reserves to grow new leaves which the goats come back and eat again and again until the plant can't recover. And it seems to be working. Larry only brought about half as many goats to Thurma this summer as he did last year and if everything goes to plan he'll bring back half as many again next year. We'd like to keep the goats till the end of the growing season. Uh, we prefer to keep some goats there until, until then, so every bit of effort that the plants can put out to regrow is, is eaten. It's, it's a fine balance because we don't, we don't want them to finish too soon. It, it, uh, because there's no food, the goats have to leave, and if they have to leave, then the plants get a chance to come back this year, and we don't want that to happen. Besides the potential eyesore of thick mats of vines covering Thurman's historic storefronts, it also risks structural damage to the buildings by creating paths for water and insects to invade. And because of the fuel load created by the thick overgrowth, there's also an increased potential for rapidly spreading fire, all reasons the Park Service is working to keep the dense vegetation in check. Right now it looks like it's on, on, on track to get rid of the kudzu and to get rid of the poison ivy and, and the knotweed, which are the, the biggest uh, villains in that particular spot. Because of, to be successful, uh, you've got to get rid of the invasives, but something is going to grow. So the, the question becomes, what are they going to do with the spot next? That most likely will involve reseeding with the selection of native grasses and wildflowers. It's all part of the National Park Service's efforts to preserve what's left of the historic old railroad town, once a center of commerce in the area. In Thurmond, I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters. Larry's goats have wrapped up their work in Thurmond for the season and are back in their Rhinebeck, New York home base. The green goats have been doing this specialized sort of landscaping at various park properties since 2007. Besides their Thurmond gig, they've been to six different states all over the East Coast. That's all for this week for Environment Matters. I'm Annette Hoskins. Thanks for watching.